Well, hello everybody, and welcome to this beautiful spring day here at G-Bears Off Gridways. Yeah, another day outside getting work done. Uh, I did take a little break at lunchtime and filled in some text messages that I got, but uh, in the meantime, I've been out here. You know, and I've always considered myself a really good gardener, and uh, I'm just uh, at a loss here when... The, all these people are talking about this guy named Pete Moss. Who is this Pete Moss? You know, he, he just evades me. I don't understand it. And they tell me that he uh, is really good at starting uh, plants and seeds and stuff like that. I'd like to meet this Pete Moss sometime. Anyway, what have I been doing today? I've been out here working on the garden. You can see I dug a hole in the side of the mound there, and uh, not much of it, I mean only about uh, one-eighth of it, and I filled up all of those pots over there on the end. Um, the, um, there's 11 of them filled, and I've got one more batch in the mixer here. So how am I rejuvenating this... Uh, spent um, nutrients uh, out of the uh, potting soil that I got from my neighbor's new land unit or the new land that he's going to buy anyway. Um, anyway, here's my recipe because uh, I did a soil sample and uh, it still has some nutrients left in it but not much. So I wanted to make sure that I got it back to a good, healthy mix. So this is what I'm putting in it. You can see the, some of the stuff in there. So this is it. Earthworm castings. I'm using two heaping tablespoons. That's uh, like that much. Two of them. Okay. Then I go for the miracle Grow all-purpose plant food. And I do two heapers like that. Okay, really get a good scoop on those. Give two heapers. Then I go to the bone meal. This is bone meal. Uh, the MPK on this is 217.0. Okay, so on this one I give one heaping tablespoon. All right. And uh, this is... This is uh, the one that uh, you uh, that puts potassium into your soil, and potassium is very important. Okay, then I use this uh, Miracle Grow Performance Organics right here, and these are plant nutrition granules. And on this one, I use two level tablespoons of it because it's a it's a fa fast release and. Uh, it doesn't last very long, and this NPK is 769. 769, the goose drank wine, the monkey tripped back on the streetcar line. Uh, <laughs> anyway, then, all winter long, I save up coffee grounds and eggshell. And I use two scoops of coffee grinds and eggshell mix, just like that, okay? Put two of those in there. And why? Well, the eggshells add calcium to the soil. And the um, coffee grounds, you don't want to use too, too much coffee grounds in mixing your garden soil. But a little bit is okay. And that adds acidity to the soil. So it raises the pH a little, or lowers the pH. The acidity makes it more acidic. Okay, so two of those. And then... The good stuff in this barrel in the bottom of this barrel I've got hydrated chicken poop and I use two of these spades no I'm, I'm sorry one of these spades heaped up as high as I can scoop it out of one scoop and I throw that in with this mix and that's it right there on that side right there oh, I don't want that in there 
I'll be burning all those later in the fire pit. I'm just throwing them over there for now so I know where they are. All right. So once I get that all put in there, I turn on this mixer. Now hold your ears because this sounds like a jet taking off. <laughs> just kidding. So I, I get start the mixer kind of up this way. And to fill it, I use one of those buckets full right to the top, slightly heat. And I, I'll turn this thing with the opening straight up in the air. And I, I can dump it in easily that way and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't spill all over the place. So I'll start it off like this. And then after I see it uh, breaking up most of the clumps and stuff in there, I lower it down one more notch right there. And this really makes sure that it breaks up the final clumps. And any big clumps will actually fall out. They'll, they'll come right out of here and, and land on the ground. And then I just step on them and crush them up and I'll, I'll clean, break that up and clean it up later. So that's it. Sorry, I'm getting uh, dust all over the lens and stuff. So I'm gonna shut this off for right now. I only have to mix for about uh, one to two minutes. And then anything that's left like this, I break it up with my fingers. Just, just like that. That's all there is to it. Any roots and junk like that I take out. Okay. So, in the bottom of each pot before I fill them with soil. I add uh, a rusty tin can. Um, that's another one. Who's rusty tin can? <laughs> uh, I put a rusty tin can in the bottom. Um, I'll put a little bit of soil first and then put the rusty tin can down in there and then fill it rest away with soil. And uh, that adds slow release iron to the mix. I was running out of tin cans. I've got some in the fire pit still, and I've got some up by the shipping container. But I don't think I have any more left around here. It looks like there might be one under there that the dog's dragged under. But yeah, it doesn't look like I have any more left around here. Okay, so moving on inside. I started cleanup in here. I got the... Uh, Two buckets of trash that were there um, moved out. I got two buckets of trash that were down there moved out. I got two buckets of trash that were over here moved out. So uh, it's starting to open up a little bit. And I've been working on killing all these weeds because uh, I don't want those weeds around. And uh, I'm lucky that not a lot of weeds get into the raised bed because they. Uh, yeah, the winds have to pick them up and raise them up here. So I think I'm going to end up throwing that out, although I was thinking about using it to do one more air layer before I do. So I did a little bit of um, tilling here by hand, using my hand tiller. And uh, I did that down here also. And then I gave it a good wetting down with some water so that it's ready. I'm going to start getting some seeds in this week if we get any more days like today. This will be two in a row. I did water all of my aloe vera plants, so um, they should be happy for a little while. And I watered all of my um, fruit trees in here, and I cleaned the, the dirt out from around the trunk. I was neglecting that, and uh, I noticed that as I came out and started doing some watering in here that uh, the trunk was buried too deep. And I said, that's not right. So you want to move um, soil, leaves, and that stuff away from the trunks of your of your plants like I did here. So you, you just want the roots and you got a, a line on there that's your, your tree depth. So you want to definitely make sure that you um, clean that out around there. Now this one needs a little bit more work. Uh, I will end up doing that tomorrow 
and I could probably take a couple of scoops of the um, the topsoil off of that and move it over to something else where it's needed. So that's it. My uh, peach tree sprouting. Um, this little branch I stuck in the ground there. Um, it's uh, coming to life. So it might have rooted. If it did, that's another nice little piece of rootstock I got going. So I can move that over into one of those big pots and get another tree going. Because trees take time to grow and humans don't. They just keep on going. And, and after a certain age, you start getting older faster. And uh, watch out, it'll sneak right up on you. So anyway, I got that all done. And uh, I did have a, a list of things I wanted to cover, but I think I got them all. So anyway, I'm doing the center pots um, right now. I'm going to get all the center pots uh, filled and ready for planting. And then once I get those planted, uh, it'll be a while before any seeds actually sprout up. So I don't have to worry about the birds getting into them or anything like that. So I can um, get to work on other stuff while I'm doing that. And then while those are growing, I can um, start filling all the other pots around the outer edge. The ones that are up against this edge here are the ones that don't need very much sunlight through the day. Because they get it in the morning, but like you can see, they're in the shade right now for the afternoon. So... The ones that need full sun are going to be in the center of the room. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> All right. So, so buttons on my shirt. Beautiful day today. You know, I can't even figure out why I'm wearing shorts or a t-shirt. Oh, that's because I didn't want to get sunburnt. <laughs> Yeah, nice thing about privacy. So anyway, got plenty of soil to go through here yet. And uh, those 11 plus the one that's in there uh, took just under an hour to do. So a couple hours tomorrow, I should have all the pots filled that I need to get filled for, for a starter. A starter. And uh, go from there. And... I cleaned out the inside of the um, the greenhouse, and I'm starting to clear off everything off that uh, shelf there, and that's where I got all my nutrients from. That's all stuff that was uh, given to me over the years, and uh, it's just sitting on the shelves and not getting used, so it's getting used. It will be used. All right, so that's about it. Um, I still have free puppies for anybody who wants a free puppy. Right, puppy? This is Wolfie right here. He thinks he's the boss already. He bought, he bosses all the others around. Look at the size of his paws already. Huh. Hey, your paw was big. <laughs> all right. So, that's it. Cute little pups. That one, little one on the top with the tail in the air. Um, little female. She's the runt of the litter. And Wolfie is the big boy of the litter. But the, uh, the runt of the litter is such a sweetheart. If I could afford to, I would keep her myself. But uh, I know some of you out there uh, just can't resist, so you're going to have to get yourself a little puppy, right? So that's it. They're all getting ready for their supper. I'm going to get that done, give them their supper and their chew treats, and move on down the road. And uh, tonight I'm going to barbecue some chicken drumsticks and have uh, green peas. Uh, not green peas, green beans, string beans with that. So I'm going to be planting th those this week. I'll be getting my string beans in and a few others, um, and I'll be getting my tomatoes started, 
But I think I'll start the tomatoes indoors because we still may get a few more cold days here. Thanks for joining me, everybody. This is G. Barris signing off.